Hello friends, Josh from Island Owl Mazda here. I've got great news for you. Behind me is the 2022 Toyota Tundra. It's an SR. It is beautiful. And uh, guess what? Just over 14,000 kilometers on this thing. So that is amazingly low. Uh, it's in fantastic condition and I can't wait to show it to you. Without further ado, on this rainy day, here we go. My goodness, would you look at that? The Toyota front end is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, many years ago, trucks were squared off and then there was a trend to rounding off all of the corners and uh, they kind of had a bubbly look to them. Uh, these days, things are changing. They're turning into more of a squared up package. Um, still rounded edges, but uh, man, they look great. So uh, just a quick little walk around here so that you can see the exterior condition. Fantastic wheels on that. Those are Toyo uh, Open Country AT3s. Excellent. Uh, there's, your, uh, there's your tow hitch. Toes over 8,000 pounds as it's currently configured. Uh, that Tundra badging is just awesome. Um, coloration, fantastic. And uh, yeah, what more is there to say? Um, it's just a beautiful ride. Uh, this one also comes with additional tires. Uh, and uh, so you've got two sets to work from. So I'm just gonna open up the hood here. It opens up nicely by itself. I mean, after you hit the latch anyways. Nice and clean under the hood. As you would expect, a well, well taken care of truck. Previous owner was the first owner, BC registered, no accidents, and um, yeah, just found that uh, he was working away a lot, didn't need a second vehicle for the family, and uh, we are the, uh, the proud beneficiary of that situation. So uh, here we've got side view mirrors, breakaway, right? So if somebody bumps into it, no problems. Tundra badging, there it is. Let's uh, hop inside here. I mentioned it was an SR. Boom, SR5. So uh, that was my mistake. Now here is the door, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, and uh, there's the interior itself. So power uh, seats on both sides, fantastic cloth interior. So, so comfortable, or cloth seats I should say. Um, anyways, down here we've got some controls for the bed light, uh, auto headlights, auto start stop, your cruise stuff, auto uh, odometer trip, um, and then of course your, uh, your uh, lights, your ambient lights in the uh, vehicle here. A heated steering wheel, which is so nice. There we have it, uh, all weather floor mats. I mean, could this thing get any better? So hopping inside here, um, here we have the controls for uh, some of the uh, vehicle options and features uh, on the dash there that you'll see when you, uh, uh, when you get in here. Um, of course, we've got your volume stuff. Um, we've got your uh, voice command button on this side. Lane keeping assist, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, just a bunch of good stuff. And um, moving forward here, a fantastically integrated screen. Some vehicles, you get into them, and there's just this big screen that stands out of nowhere. And uh, this is very well, uh, very well placed. Also, I love the fact that it's right here and not down here. So when you're driving, it's an easy transition from looking forward through the windshield to checking the screen and back again. Um, so I mentioned the heated steering wheel, which is always a nice feature. Uh, even better, heated front seats. So there's one, there's two. Um, we've got uh, auto headlights over here. Check that out. You can see it, yeah. Also, intermittent wipers. I mean, you can wipe your windshield intermittently. It's just a fantastic feature to have. Uh, dual zone climate control, which is really, really nice um, if, you, uh, if you have a partner who likes a hot vehicle or likes a cool vehicle and you're the opposite so down here we've got our electronic parking brake and uh, oh right there yeah and then our auto hold which is great to have traction control button as well as our um, emergency blinkers storage for phones can't get enough of that uh, here we are uh, we've got drive modes tow haul and uh, your four-wheel drive options here one little ditty here check this out trailer brake assist which is really nice to have if you are actually towing so one thing about a full-size truck no lack of room and uh, like I said there is your storage area your shifter with your uh, manual shift modes um, you got your uh, your cup holders and let me see if I can get this I'm just gonna hop out 
check that out. So um, we've got our console, storage for whatever, keys, phones, change. And then of course you can open up that whole thing and there's more down there. So USB A and C uh, charging there. Also check out this fantastic backup camera. It's a really nice feature to have when you're driving a larger vehicle, like a full size truck. If you can see this screen flashing as you're watching this video, just know that it's not actually flashing, it's just the way my iPhone is picking up the projection. And um, what else? More cup holders, right? You can never have enough of that. I think back in the day, it's like, you know, vehicles were made for a certain purpose, but these, these days, people are thinking very much uh, forwardly about like, what do people need as far as comforts? I'd like to highlight a couple things on the door here. Check this out. So here is a little storage space there awesome okay whoa hold on a second another storage space and then boom this is a triple decker more storage space as well as more cup holders and more storage space so uh it's fantastic right you can fit all kinds of stuff in here and when you're going on a road trip you need space for things okay so here is the back seat again all weather floor mats super comfortable seating right just beauty. Also, you can lift this up. So you've got storage down below. There's the original floor mats. Uh, underneath there are some tie downs uh, that I'll show you in just a second. Uh, and then of course you can uh, you can drop this seat down. You need to. There's a little diddly bob there. Pull that, and the seats come forward. So you've got additional storage, right? Um, when I said the seats would fold forward, I imagine you didn't think I would be showing you more storage. Um, but there it is, okay? So um, back to the truck bed. You'll see here, just below this fantastic Island Alamaza sticker, uh, this little um, channel, okay? And that channel, as you'll see, continues on around both sides. And um, it uh, is there to assist you with uh, securing a canopy, maybe a tonneau cover. Uh, and then of course, as you'll see here, this right here, um, uh, one of your tie downs, which you can loosen and tighten and slide along that channel. There's a couple more on the interior. So this is a long box, which means you've got tons and tons of space. Again, beautiful, beautiful Tundra badging. I love how they just stamp it right in the middle. That's awesome. So uh, back around the, uh, the front here, I think, I don't think I told you, uh, this has got the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine. And um, I think it's 348 horsepower, 405 or 408 uh, pounds-feet of torque. It's, uh, it certainly is a very capable truck. It certainly is a beautiful truck. And um, I'm just excited to have shown this to you here today. So there you have it, the 2022 Toyota Tundra SR5. It is an absolute beauty of a truck, as you've just seen. Uh, one thing to mention that I didn't already say uh, is that it does come with the remote start, which is a super awesome thing to have, especially when uh, we're going through winter. It's chilly out here. With this truck, you'll be in great shape to start and warm up the vehicle before you have to go out and get into it. Uh, I am super excited to have shown you this truck. If there's anything that I can do to help you connect with this beauty, any other truck or an SUV, car, crossover, what have you, then I will be happy to do so. All you need to do is give me a call, 250-202-5674. That's 202 Josh. I'm having a great time here. Happy to have shown you this beautiful truck. Give me a call, we'll see you soon.